for Jesus Christ, who gave his life for many. Yes, yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, who shed his own blood for us, yes, yes. that we may be recounseled back unto God, that our sins may be forgiven. Hallelujah. Amen. We worship him. Amen. And we thank him for his sacrifice. I give honor to my own wife and helper. Amen. Thank God for her. Amen. And to Deacon Turner, Deacon Cunningham. Amen. Sister Williams, to all the saints of God in their respectful places. Amen. Matthew, the fourth chapter. Amen. First lady, the wonderful job. Woman to woman. Amen. Because I listen to it. <laughs> Amen. And I'll be ready to give it to I haven't been able to though. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But no, God is doing a wonderful job through her. Amen. Thank God for the praise team. A wonderful job. Amen. You think it's easy, but it ain't. I'd have been down there trying to see with her. Almost passed out. You gotta have some strong lungs. Amen. And some endurance. Amen. And they be singing for a long time. But a lot of people say, oh, I can do it as easy. Get up there and see. Uh -huh. And I'm telling you, it's not. Amen. I was telling my wife, and when I got down there, <laughs> amen, <laughs> you got to have some strength, some endurance. Yeah. Amen. So we thank God for the praise team. Amen. Being in place and being on time. Yes, Lord. Amen. We thank God for them. Read a blessing to the house of God. Matthew, the fourth chapter, verses 1 through 2, and 4, 7, and 10, and 11. Those are the six key scriptures I'm going to deal with on today, and I'll be out your way. Matthew, the fourth chapter, verse 1 through 2, verse 4, 7, 10, and 11. When you have it, could you please say amen? amen. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And, he had, and when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungry. Look at verse 4, 7 and 10. But he answered and said, It is written, Man should not live by bread alone, oh, yeah. but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Look at verse 7. Then Jesus said unto him, It is written again, mm -hmm. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thou God. Look at verse 10. Then said Jesus unto him, Get away from me, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Mm -hmm. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor. fasting in prayer, fasting in prayer. Will, break the power will break the power of temptation. Of temptation. Say again, say, neighbor, neighbor. fasting in prayer. Will break the power, we'll break the power of, temptation. of temptation. Say neighbor, neighbor. fasting in prayer. Fasting in prayer. Will break the power, we'll break the power of, temptation. of temptation. Saints of God, we come into the house of God to get answers. Yes, yes. When you come into the house of God, there will always be answers for your situation. Yes. I keep telling you that you're not gonna find it at the dope house. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna find it at the gambling house. You're not going to find it at the White House. Mm -mm. You ain't going to find it at the script club. Uh -huh. But you're going to find your answers that you need right in the house of God. Right in the house of God. This is the reason why come the enemy don't fight you to stay out of the dope house. Come on. He don't fight you to stay out of the White House uh -huh. or the gambling house. Come on. But he fights you when, it, when it's time to come into God's house. Oh, yes. When it's time to come in God's house, everything come up. Yes. Everybody start calling. Something that went wrong, somebody that came in town, mm -hmm. because he wants some kind of excuse to keep you outside of God's house. Yes. He understands that when you come into the house of God, God is going to give you answers. Yes. There is no problem that you're dealing with in life that when you come into the house of God, there is not an answer for your problem. But saints of God, the problem is, is that when God gives us an answer, we reject the answer of God. Yes. You say, I need answers. There is answers in the house of God. Yes, it is. There is answers in the word of God. Yes. But when God speaks, we cannot reject the answers of God. Come on. What is the answer? The answer is the word of God. Yes. The problem in our world today is that we need Jesus. Yes. And when we come into the house of God, God will give us answers. Yes. You're not dealing with anything that God has not spoken about. Yes. 
You're not dealing with anything that got God in the dark. Yes. Because God is, I mean, say God is all knowing. God knows everything that's going on in your house right now. Yes. And when you come into the house of God, and when you hear the word of God preach, you say, how do he know what's going on in my house? Come on. How does she know what's going on in my house? How do they know what's going on in my heart? Baby, it's not none of us. It's, none it's of the us. Spirit of God. So what God is doing, God is speaking about your situation, and then God is giving you the answers about your situation. Yes. We can't say that we don't got the answers. Come on. And in the house of God, what we are doing as people of God, we are rejecting the answers that come from God. Yes. This is from the Bible said, let him that hear, hear what the Spirit of God is saying to the churches. You got to have spiritual ears to be able to hear. Uh -huh. These little physical ears on your head ain't going to do you no good if you don't receive what God is saying to yes. you. Yes. And I come into the house of God to get answers. Oh, yeah. I got to know what to do. To deal with depression. Uh -huh. I got to know what to do, oh God, when I'm dealing with stress and dealing with uncertainty. Yes. I got to know what to do when I'm dealing with confusion and I'm trying to overcome a bruise that happened to me a long time ago. Yes. I got to know what to do when I'm dealing with a root of bitterness and a root of rejection. I got to know what to do when I'm sprung out on drugs and sprung out on Marvin and sprung out on Chanel and I can't break uh -huh. that generational soul time. Do you hear me? I need answers and you come into the house of God so God can give you answers. Yes, Lord. Yes, we Lord. didn't come in for fashion form of fame. Mm -hmm. I don't listen. I didn't, I didn't get dressed up for you to look at me. I got dressed up because I was supposed to put some clothes on. on. But I come into the house of God so I can hear answers from my father. Do you hear me? I need a breakthrough. I need deliverance. Yes. The yoke needs to be destroyed. Yes. But I need answers from my heavenly father. My God. I come into the house of God so God can speak to me. Yes, Lord. Speak to my heart, Lord. Speak about this situation. Speak about that thing that don't nobody know about. Go down into the dark places of my heart, oh God. Go down to the recesses of my heart, oh God. And God, give me an answer. I come into the house of God to get an answer. Yes, Lord. I don't come for fashion, form, or fame. Yes. I don't come to play no game. This is not no social club. Uh. But this is the house of God. Come on. And when you come into the house of God, you should get answers. When you come into the house of God, you should experience the power of God. When you come into the house of God, you should experience the anointing of God. Hallelujah. If you got ghosts, they can be destroyed yes. when you get into the house of God because the anointing is flowing. Hallelujah. But you got to reach out towards God in some faith. Yes, Lord. Some of us are bound and we don't even have to be bound. My yes. God. Some of us are in the same place of darkness and we don't even have to say that. You know why? Because it's answers in the house of God. Yes, we can't keep coming into the house of God. And stay bound, say to God, when God has given us answers. Yes. Jesus is coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. Yes. Do you hear me, say to God? Yes. Now we are busy telling people how to get money. Yes. But ain't nobody trying to prepare people for the coming of okay. our Lord and Savior yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. Do you hear me, say to God? We're not talking about the blood. We're not talking about the cross. We're not talking about the word of God. We're yes. not trying to prepare people to meet Jesus when he come back for a church. Do you hear me? Yes. We have veered away from the word of God. But if you want answers, you're going to find it in the house of God. The house of God. Yes. yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. But the thing about it is when God gives us the answers, we don't like it. We yes. don't like it. We won't perform it. Mm. I want the preacher to perform for me. Jesus. Get up and perform for me. Uh-huh. Say all the right things, dance around the church, Come but on. I'm still going to leave back. Yes. I'm still going to leave stressed out. Come on. I'm still going to leave depressed. Uh -huh. I'm still going to leave in fear. Do you hear me? No saints of God. That is not the house of God. Yeah, yeah, when you yeah. come into the house of God, you're going to get answers. Yes, Lord. When you come into the house of God, God going to tell you how to come out that bunny. Yes, Lord. When you come into the house of God, God going to tell you how to lift the burden. Yes. When you come into the house of God, God going to tell you how he can't destroy the yoke. When you come into the house of God, God is going to tell you how to break soul ties that's keeping you outside of his presence. It's when you come into the house of God. We have made the house of God lights, camera, and action. Lights, camera, and this is just a big old show. Come on. But I don't say so, God, we got to get back to the old landmark. Yes. When you come into the house of God, I'm coming to get answers. Yes, yes. Lord. Mm. My God. Fasting and prayer mm -hmm. yes, Lord. is the answer for you breaking the power of temptation. Yes. Yes, now, when I said that, that went over a whole lot of people's heads. You know why? Because that's not what I want to hear. You telling me I got to give up something for God? That's not what I want to hear, preacher. You're not telling me what I want to hear. Therefore, I'm going to reject everything that you're saying. Because it's not what I want to hear. Yes. But we need men and women of God. 
Yeah. Who can stand strong? Do you hear me? Yeah. Who can make their face like flint? Come on. And so I'm going to speak what God told me to speak. Passion and prayer breaks temptation. Yes, Lord. You say, I can't get out of it. Mm -hmm. We cannot have a church that's bound. Mm -hmm. We can't have a church who's dancing and shouting, but they bound. Yeah, 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 we can't yeah. have a church that's preaching, but they bound. Mm -hmm. We can't have a church that's singing and laying out on the floor, but you leave bound. Mm -hmm. You gotta get out since you hear me say yeah, 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 yeah. Fast and prayer mm -hmm. is what breaks the power of temptation. Yeah. Yes, Do you hear me say God? Jesus fasted. Yes. And if he fasted, we should fast. Yes. Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness. In verse 1, it says, What? To be tempted of the devil. Mm -hmm. He was led, after God had confirmed that he was his son, he still took Jesus into the wilderness. We heard the woman of God say this morning that when God will bring you out and God will take you to your wealthy place, a lot of times God will take you through the wilderness. Some of us don't like that wilderness. Oh, no, we don't. We want to go back to Egypt. Yes. We want to go back into the world. We want to go back and get in the bed with Mark. We want to go back to the door. Right? You know why? Because God is taking us through a wilderness. But there is a reason why God is taking you in the wilderness. Yes. Lord. It's in the wilderness when things get quiet. My God. Oh, there's so much noise in your life when you was in the world. Yes. But when you come to God, God takes you in the wilderness and things get quiet. When I came to God, God took me and my wife in the wilderness. Yeah, 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 People yeah. stopped calling. Come on, Lord. Faith friends stopped calling. <laughs> they were none of our friends no way. And that's how come God took us in the wilderness. Yeah, because God said, I want to show you that they're not really your friends. Come you on. Yes. God took us in the wilderness. Woo. So God can break addictions. And remove yeah, drug yeah, habits. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. down there in the wilderness. When God separates you from people and separates you from family, mama ain't calling no more now. You used to get mama to keep keep the children all the time. You go to the club, mama keep the children. You go to the store, mama keep the children. But as soon as you start going to church, I'm not finna keep you. You know why? Because the enemy is trying to keep you outside of the house of God. All you going through your wilderness experience. Yeah. Out of the wilderness experience. When they family stop talking to them, they go back out into the world. Come on. When they friends stop talking to them, they go back out into the world because they don't want to go through a wilderness experience. Oh but since God, if you're gonna be delivered, you gotta go through a wilderness experience. You gotta go through. Yeah, 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 yeah. A wilderness experience. Wilderness experience. Is when people stop calling you. A weirdness experience uh -huh. is when people ain't patting you on your back. Come on. A weirdness experience is people that you thought was your friends and thought they was your family members. Now they talking about you Come because on. now you in the house of God. Do you hear me? It's a weirdness experience. Don't you get discouraged? Don't you leave God? Don't you go back to Egypt? Don't you go back to bondage? It's a weirdness experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. God shakes and molds you in the wilderness. Woo, yes. I found that there were certain people I didn't need when God took me in the wilderness. <laughs> Do you hear me say to God? Woo. They wouldn't call it, and I found out I really don't need no call from them. Uh -uh. It's been three years now, and it ain't called since I came to God. <laughs> but I'm still standing in the hey. I'm still standing on the word of God. Do you hear me say to God? Oh, I'm just a little bit stronger. Do you hear me? I'm God deal with your heart. Deal with your heart. You hate the weirdness experience mm -hmm. because when you come into the house of God, the pastor is speaking about that unforgiveness. <laughs> He's speaking about their rejection. He's speaking about that bitterness that you got towards your mother or your father. Do you hear me? That's that wilderness experience. But he took Jesus through the wilderness. Through the wilderness. Yes, yes Lord. To be tempted by the devil. Yes, Lord. This was a showdown. showdown. You got to remember Adam and Eve sin. Uh -huh. They disobeyed God when the enemy tempted them. The Bible said the last Adam, talking about Jesus. Yes. When Jesus came, the enemy came to tempt him the same way that he tempted Adam and Eve. Yes. This is the reason why I come the Spirit of God led Jesus into the wilderness. Yes. Because Satan told God, I've made your creation fall. Uh -huh. I've made woman and man fall. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. He said, not only that, but I took a third of the angels from heaven with me. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. said, so when you send Jesus, I can make him fall. Uh -huh. So this was a showdown, do you hear me? Yeah. Because Jesus came to recounsel us back to the Father. Yeah. If Jesus would have sinned, guess what? We would have been lost. Come on. So the enemy came. Mm -hmm. yes, Lord. Slid up on uh -huh. Jesus in the wilderness. Do you hear me say to God? Yes. It was time for Jesus to be tempted. Now, the God in Jesus would have been tempted mm -hmm. because Jesus was the son of God and he was also the son of man. Yes. He was all God and he was all man. Uh -huh. So the part of him that was being tempted was the man part. Yes. Do you hear me say to God? Then when the enemy came to Jesus, he was tempted the man part. Temptation. Yes, Lord. There's a positive definition of temptation. And there, there's a negative uh -huh. definition of temptation. When the Bible said that the Spirit of God led Jesus up into the wilderness to be tempted, that's not in a negative sense. Yes. The positive said, the positive definition of temptation means to test, yes. and it means to put on trial. Put on trial. God don't tempt now one of us in a negative sense, uh -huh. but God do test us uh -huh. to show what your character is in. Yes. But the devil comes to tempt you in a negative sense. The devil comes to tempt you to make you fall. Uh -huh. The word temptation in negative sense means to lure. It means to put bait out there. It means to entice. But Jesus was tempted in two points. He was tempted about God so Jesus can show us his character. Uh -huh. Now God already knew that Jesus was going to stand. Yes. But he still allowed his character to be, to be tested by the enemy. Yes. But then when the enemy came in, he came to tempt him to make him fall. Yes. Tempt Jesus in the wilderness. Jesus went on a fast mm -hmm. for 40 days 40 and 40 days. nights. Why would the Son of God fast? Yeah. You know why? Because he knew temptation was coming. Yes. I'm telling you, saints of God, if you want to break temptation off your life, yeah. learn how to get to a place of fasting. Yeah. I told you that fasting means to cover your mouth. Cover yes. your mouth. When you fast, that means to cover your mouth. Yeah. You say, Pastor, why you started preaching on fasting and prayer? Because God got me constantly ministering on fasting and prayer. Yeah. God wants the church to get it. Do you hear me say, yeah. God? If you want to get free, get to a place of fasting and prayer. It means to cover your mouth. Cover your I don't mouth. put no food in my mouth. Uh -huh. I don't drink no water. Now, you can do a partial fast now if you just want to drink water. But really, fasting means to cover your mouth. No food, no water. Uh -huh. No sexual relations with your spouse. Uh -huh. You know what you're doing? You're giving up something for God. Yes. And when you give up something for God, God will give up something for you. Yes. When you fast and pray, you begin to detox. In the physical, when you fast, your body start detoxing. Yes. That's how come your breath be real stinky when you fast. Yes. Because your body begins to push your toxins. Do you hear me say, say God? Yes. But in the spiritual realm, when you fast, you push out toxins. Uh -huh. It's when I fasted that I found out that I was so hateful. My God, my God. It's when I fasted that God started saying, you still got a problem with authority. My Do you hear me? It's when I fasted. When you fast, you kill that flesh. Yes. When I said flesh, I'm talking about that sinful nature. When you fast, you kill your flesh. Uh -huh. You tell your flesh to shut up, and you ask the Spirit of God to speak up. Come because on. when you fasted, you deny yourself. Yes. Do you hear me say to God? You begin to detox. It's in fasting that God said, there's a root of bitterness in you, and you still got something against mom and dad. My you God. haven't forgiven them yet. And just like the woman of God said it woman to woman, you screaming about somebody slamming the door, but it's really not about that. Yeah, you yeah, still yeah, mad at what mama did and what daddy did yeah, and what yeah, uncle yeah, did yeah, and what yeah, your yeah. friends did and what your last husband did. That root of bitterness is still down on the inside of your spirit. Yeah. And you start asking yourself, how come I can't have no friends? How come I can't get along with nobody? Do you hear me say, see God? When you get to a place of fasting and prayer, God will show you there's a root of bitterness in your heart. Yes, yes, Lord. yes. yes Lord Jesus. You can't trust this husband mm -hmm. because the last husband slapped you around, oh did you wrong. Mm -hmm. Your husband walked past you and reached up in the cabinet and you duck it oh because you God. think he's going to hit you. Because your last husband used to abuse you, do you hear me? But when you fast and pray, God said, you still thinking about what Marvin did. And God said, you got to get past what Marvin did. God said, everybody ain't like Marvin, do you hear me? Say, God. But we look at all men in the same way. They ain't nothing but dogs. And so for now, you just haven't met a good man yet. Yes, yes, Lord. When you fast and pray, God said, no, the problem is not the man. God said, the problem is you. Yes. God said, you ain't healed. God said, you ain't delivered. Yes. God said, you ain't set free. God said, you still hateful. God said, you still bitter. Yes. And what the last husband did. And God said, if you don't deal with that root of bitterness, you want to try next to Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I start fasting. Yes, 
God starts showing you still got a violent tendency about you. Mm. It's in fasting and prayer. Yes, Lord. When you fast and pray, God tell you more about you than you do somebody else. Come on. Don't ever fast to try to get high in the spirit. Mm. And then that's going to make you high than somebody. Don't when you fast and pray, God's going to start talking about you. Yes. God's going to start knocking on your heart. Do you yes. really God? Yes. It's when you fast and pray. You ain't fasting and praying so you can get up and try to show that you're so spiritual. No, I'm on. fasting and praying so I can live. Yes, I got to fast and pray. Do you hear me? Yes, yes. Pastor's jacked up without God. Oh, yeah. I know I'm jacked up without God. Do you hear me? Yes, All I got some issues outside of God. I got to stay down to a place of fasting and prayer. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus fasted. Mm, mm, mm. He said, temptation is coming. Yes. But I'm going to fast and pray yes. so I can break the power of temptation. Yes. He said, when temptation comes, my flesh is going to be weak. Yes. And it's not going to leave out for what the enemy is trying to bring to me. Do you hear me? Yes. Some of us cannot break certain temptation because we won't fast and pray. Mm. And this will come when a man call you, you jump up. Jesus. Yes, you ready to go to his house. Do you hear me? You just want to hear his voice. You know why? Because you haven't gotten yourself to a place of fasting and prayer. Yes. See, the church don't want to hear teaching like this. Come on. We don't want God to, to stir up our Kool-Aid. Yes. But I'm telling you, saints of God, if you want the power of sexual addiction to be broken, fast and pray. Fast and pray. Yes, Lord. I'm telling you by example. Mm. When I fasted and prayed, certain things stronghold that they had on me, it broke. Broke. Then when a thought came up, go here, I would even go there. Yes, it don't got nothing to do with your strength, yes, do you hear me? But you've been in the presence of God. Yes. You've been fasting and prayer, and you start losing your appetite for stuff. Yes. It don't mean that you can't be tempted. All of us can be tempted, but I start losing my taste for stuff. Uh -huh. yes. Alcohol and weariness, going out, kicking it, going to the club. I started losing that taste, do you hear me? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I was in fasting and prayer. I was in the presence of God. Yes. Do you hear me, God? If you wanted to be broken, Fast and pray. Fast and pray. I'm giving you the answer, saints of God. But you got to be willing to give up something before God. Fasting means to crucify your flesh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It means to give up something for God. Do you hear me, saints of God? Jesus fasted 40 days, 40 nights. And afterwards, he was hungry. And that's when the devil came. Jesus. Because the enemy waits till you get to your, your weak place. That's when the devil show up. You ever wonder when you strong in God? <laughs> and you've been praying and you feel the anointing on you. And you be saying, devil, come on with it. He don't never show up. Yes, but as soon <laughs> as soon as you get weak, <laughs> as soon as you <laughs> go through something on the job, <laughs> as soon as you feel the press and stress, the enemy slide on in. Yes, you know why? Because that's your time of weakness. Yes. But I hear the Bible say, be strong in the Lord. Yes. And the power yes. of his might. And you can't be strong in the Lord unless you get yourself down to a place of fasting and prayer. Yes. Yes, Lord. The enemy comes when you're weak. Mm -hmm. yes. He comes when you're discouraged. Yes. But God is trying to teach you, rest in my strength. Rest yes, in my Lord. strength. Not in your strength. Oh, yeah. Do things my way. Yes. We heard the one of God say this morning, we have to do things God's way. God's way. God is giving you spiritual weapons, but yes. you slap them out of God's hand. My God. God said, Come, heal your weapons. Fast, uh -huh. prayer, meditate on the word, read my word, stay into the house of God. Stay in the house of God. Mm -hmm. God tell you all this and you reject it. You say, no, Lord. Mm -hmm. You say, I want another way. Uh -huh. But there is no other way. No other way. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the if you're going to come out, you got to come out through Christ Jesus. Yes. You know he said, my word is the way. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Some of us dealing with bondages and we need to be free. Yes. It's been 30 years and you haven't broken. You've been in church for 30 years and haven't broken. Jesus. You went from church to church and haven't broken. My God. You shout, but you're still depressed. Come on, Come on saints of God. We're going to deal with it on today. Yeah. You shout, but you're still bitter. Come on. You shout, but you're still sad. Yes, the saints of God are dancing and praising God, but you are in a corner with your hands folded. Come on. What's wrong with you? What's wrong you should be shouting and praising God yes, with the saints of God. Yes, but you're dealing with a oh, bitter root of my sadness. God. My God. My God. My God. Say it. Uh -huh. Say it ever since that happened to you as a child. Oh my God. Say it. Yeah, yeah. Say it ever since they abused you. Yeah, yeah. Say it. Ever since mama treated one child more better than you. Yeah, Say it. Lord. Do you hear me say to God? Oh, daddy treated another child better than you. Say it. Jesus. Daddy wants to be on time with you. Say it. Mama and daddy said, you ain't going to be nothing. You're going to be just like your daddy. you still dealing with sadness from yeah. way back then. Do you hear me? Yeah. You ain't told nobody. You get up and you go to work. You're a workaholic. 
But you really don't got no good work ethics. You're working all on hours because you're running from sadness. And you need somebody to pat you on your back and tell you good job, a good job. But you gotta get into the presence of God if you're gonna be loose. Yes. You gotta get into the presence of God if you're gonna be free. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you. Passion breeds everything up to the top. Everything. When we fast and pray. Yes, Lord. He tempted Jesus. Uh-huh. He said, if you were really the Son of God, yes. he knew Jesus was hungry. Yes. He said, if you really the Son of God, yeah, yeah, yeah. he said, command these stones to become bread yeah. so you can eat something. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. said, I know that you're hungry. Yeah. He uh -huh. said, go ahead and draw that power that you got inside you. Come on. And show me that you're the Son of God. Because the first thing the enemy tried to attack was Jesus' identity. Uh -huh. He said, show me who you really are. And saints of God, it's when you fast and pray that you start finding out your true identity. Yes, yes, Lord. Don't ask me what I do for a living. Yes. Ask me who I serve for a living. Hey! Don't ask me what I do. Hey! I don't like when people ask you that. What do you do? <laughs> they don't got nothing to do with my self identity. Uh -huh. no. Just because you work at McDonald's, they don't got nothing to do with your self identity. Come on. Don't ask me what I'm doing, do you hear me? Jesus. Ask me who's I am. Hey, yeah, yeah, you yeah. have to find out your identity in God. Yes. When you fast and pray, yeah, yeah, God yeah, said yeah. your identity is not in the money. Uh -huh. It's not in the silver and gold. Uh -huh. It's not in your job. Yes, but Lord. God said your identity is wrapped up in me. Yes, Lord. That's what the Bible said. We are hidden in, hidden in Christ. You can't find out who I am until you get in Christ. Hey. Because my life is hidden in Christ. Hallelujah. And we're seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Yes, Lord. So if you want to know past Ellis, you got to go to Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. Because I'm hidden in him. Hey. God. You can't look at what I were and try to determine who I am. Come on. Because I was not bought with silver and gold. Hey. I was bought with the precious blood of Jesus yes, Christ. Lord. Yes, Lord. You can't put a dollar on me. Hey. You can't put a coin on me, do you? Hey. Yes, yes, yes. What I'm driving got nothing to do with myself. I did it to do yes, you the God. But I was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I start fasting and praying. Mm. I said, man, God didn't call me to be no gangster. Jesus. Yes. What am I doing? Yes. All these years I don't waste it in the streets. Come on. Yes. Fighting with people that God ever wanted me to be around. <laughs> Standing up for people that God ever wanted me to be around. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. found out my identity in Christ. Do you hear me say to God? Yes. Yes. You can't come out that darkness until you find out your identity in Christ. Yes. You're around some people that God didn't want you to be around because you don't know who you is. Come on. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Yes, sir. They told me. That this is who I am. Yes, mm -mm. They told me that I can't do it. Yes. I was going back to school, but they laughed at me yes. and said, You can't do that. Mm -hmm. Nobody in our family went to school. Yes. Oh my God. Don't all of us go to school. Somebody have labeled you. Oh yes, God. But when you fast and pray, you said people will not label me anymore. Hey. Because my identity is wrapped up in God. Wrapped up in God. If you're the son of God, command these stones to become red. Yes. He said, do something outside of God's will. He said, show me your power. Because the enemy loves to get you outside of God's will by you trying to prove something to somebody. Yes. But when you fast and pray, you say, I don't got nothing to prove to you. Do you even say to God? Stop trying to prove stuff to your family. Come on. Stop trying to prove to your family, okay, I'm saved. I ain't doing it wrong no more. I need you to see God. I'm not trying to prove a point to God. You need to prove a point to God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Study to show yourself approval to God. Yes. Do you hear me? Not a man. We got to get away from trying to prove ourselves to people. Come on. When I fast and pray, God started telling me, start trying to prove yourself to people. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm trying to prove on, no, I'm trying to prove not to your family. He said, prove yourself unto me. Do you hear me say yeah. God? Yes. If, if, if you're the son of God, yes. if you're so saved, how come you won't do this? Mm -hmm. If <laughs> you are who you say that you are, you should do this. If you love me, You'll sleep with me. Oh, Jesus. That word, if, is so big. Yeah, is Do you hear me? Yes, it's a two letter word, but it's so big. Yes, if you love me, you'll come on in with God, understand? Uh -huh. 
the enemy has been using the word if, if for so long. Yes, Lord. And if have been keeping us bound for so long. Yes. Because the enemy kept saying if. if. Do you hear me? If you're the son of God. Man, these stones to become bread. Mm -hmm. You still fast. He said, break your fast. Break it. I know you're hungry. Mm -hmm. He was appealing to the lust of the flesh. Lust yep. of the flesh. The lust of the flesh. Mm. The strong desires of your flesh. Uh -huh. When Adam and Eve sinned in the garden. So you got to know, saints of God, what you're dealing with. Yes. When God said, don't eat from the tree of the, of, the, of, of the knowledge of good and evil. Do you hear me? At first, Adam and Eve didn't have the knowledge of evil. Yes. At first, they just had the knowledge of good. Yes. So Adam wasn't going home slapping Eve around. Uh -huh. You know why? Because they didn't come in his mind. Yes. They was created in the image and likeness of God. Yes. But when God said, don't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, mm -hmm. God said, now you're going to know evil. They disobeyed God, and now I got the knowledge of evil. Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. I'm a woman, and I want to sleep with another woman. My God. I'm a man, and I want to sleep with another man. Jesus. In the garden, it was not like that. You know why? Because they had no knowledge of evil. No knowledge now of I want to do it because I got the knowledge to do it. Yes. Let me show you something. If I put all the material out there for you in that parking lot and told you, build a skyscraper, mm -hmm. guess what? You wouldn't be able to do it. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know how, do you hear me? Yeah. You don't got the knowledge to do it. That's how it was in the Garden of Eden. They didn't have the knowledge to do evil. Do you hear me? Uh -huh. But when they disobeyed God, now you got the knowledge of evil. Uh -huh. Now I can see somebody else's wife or husband and want to sleep with them. Oh, because they got the knowledge to do it now. Do you hear me? Uh -huh. It's the lust of the flesh. Uh -huh. Lust is strong, a strong longing for something that God will want you to have. Yes. It's inordinate desires. Uh -huh. Desires that you cannot control. Do you hear me saying to God? The lust of the flesh. Go to Galatians, the fifth chapter. I want to show you something about the works of the flesh. Oh I want to show you why come you need to fast and pray so that the works of the flesh can be broken. Yeah. You said it to myself, how I'm going to break this. I'm telling you how to break it. Yeah. And I, I'm not telling you nothing I read in the book. I'm telling you something I walked out for the last 18 years. Come on. So I think I got something to say. Come on. Do you hear me? I'm not talking about being outside of, in and outside of God's house. Yeah. I'm talking about staying in God's house. Yeah. I'm not talking about some me, me staying across town and my wife somewhere else. No, Come me on. and my wife have slept in the same bed for the last 18 years. Come on. Do you hear me say to God? Yes, so I think we got to look something to say. Look and I'm telling you, fasting and prayer yes, will break the power of temptation. Yes. It don't mean that you won't be tempted, but God will break the power of it. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Look at Galatians, the fifth chapter. My God. Oh, my God. Verse 19. Yes. Now the works of the flesh are manifested, which are these adultery. That's the work of the flesh. Fornication, that's the work of the flesh. Uncleanness, lavishness, idolatry, witchcraft. I want to stop at witchcraft. Uh -huh. Because witchcraft is the work of the flesh. Uh -huh. It's not a work of the spirit of God. Yes. Witchcraft, when we get the word pharmakia, which means pharmacy in English, uh -huh. yeah. which means to administer drugs. Yeah. When we're doing drugs, we don't even understand that we're in witchcraft. My God. It's what we call magic, abracadabra. That's called one minute you can be calm, and the next minute when you drink that 40, abracadabra, now you're drunk. Yes. Do you hear me? Jesus. Don't you see sorcery? Yes. See, you don't even know that, though. Yes. Because the enemy got you thinking that you're just getting high. Uh -huh. But when you get high, you turn into another person. Come on. One minute, you're speaking nice to your wife. The next minute, you get drunk, abracadabra. Mm -hmm. You come in, slapping her all around, around the house, and you Jesus. hear me? Because witchcraft is in place. My God. We don't even understand that when we smoke, when we drink, when we shoot up in a hall, that we read up on a sorcery. Jesus. That's the work of the flesh. Witchcraft mm -hmm. is when we get drugs, which means to mix a potion. Mm -hmm. Put a little bumpy face in there, a little irky jerky in there, a little tough wood in there, and now I got a boiler maker. Boiler maker. And don't even understand that I'm really operating in witchcraft and I'm making a potion. Uh -huh. yeah. And when I drink it, it turns me to another person. Yeah. Yes. Give me a blunt. Slice it down the middle. Mm -hmm. Twist the hit it like it. Twist the hit it like it. Twist the hit it like it. Y'all know the song. Mm -hmm. Put me a little cocaine in there with that weed. Uh -huh. Dip it in some bum fluid. Red then I got me a potion. Mm -hmm. At first I was the nicest person in the world. Yeah. But when I smoked that, I wake up in the county and said, man, you killed some people last night. You know why? Because every cadaver. I'm a part of witchcraft. Yes. We got a nation in the community that's under witchcraft. Yes. Because it says God. Yes. And drugs ain't nothing but witchcraft. Yes. And you got to fast and pray to break the temptation of drugs. Yes, yes, Lord. My God. Me and my wife had a drinking problem, smoking problem. 
cigarette problem when we came to God. But guess what? When we came to God for real, mm. we stopped the drinking. We stopped the smoking. See, some of you don't like that kind of preaching. But let me tell you, I'm trying to tell you how to get free. It was one time when we got saved, the first year, I went to the, to the liquor store, got angry at my wife, because we want to be transparent with you. Got me some alcohol and cigarettes. I wasn't even saved that long. Came back in the house and sat down. The Holy Ghost said, throw that away. I wasn't even saved that long. Something in my spirit said, throw that away. I got up and went and poured the alcohol down the sink. Got the cigarettes and tore them all up. My wife came out the room. She said, what an alcohol, what a beer is. What a, I said, go and get it out the seat. <laughs> Do you hear me? <laughs> she said, Scott, you got to be serious with God. Yes, God was breaking the power of witchcraft off our lives. Yeah, 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 yeah. It had us acting in ways that we normally wouldn't act. Right. Yes. Uh-huh. My God. Yes. Break the power of witchcraft. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Women, you can act like witches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and men, you can act like warlocks. Uh-huh. <laughs> When you just try to control all the time. My God. Women don't act like no witch. Yes. Don't try to use food to make your husband do what you want him to do. My God. Because you're tapping into witchcraft. Jesus. I'm talking to women of God now. I'm not talking to worldly women because you keep trying to use your body and food and all this kind of stuff to make that man do what you say. But when you're a woman of God, you need to understand that you're tapping into witchcraft. My God. Stop trying to use sex to try to make him do what you want him to do. Because it's witchcraft. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me and my wife don't sleep in separate beds. Uh-uh. Now, come on, baby. We got the argument to get in the bed. Yes. You hear me say to God? Because we're not trying to use our bodies to make the other one do what we want them to do. Yes. You can't tap into witchcraft. Mm. Don't try to use tears. My wife used to use tears. I don't know why I'm there, but I'm there. <laughs> I would try to tell my wife something. <laughs> I, would try, I would try to say, baby, you wrong. <laughs> you wrong for that. This sister will cry. A pool of tears. I couldn't even get to her. When I walked down the side of those tears, I was drowning. I said, just forget about it. You know why? Because the person is standing pouting and crying. You can be using those tears as witchcraft. My God. To make your husband back off you. Jesus. And he said, tell you, no, know, baby, that's wrong. That's outside of God's will. Uh-huh. Let's not be witches, do you hear me? Yes. As men, let's not be warlocks. Yes. Let's, not, let's don't be controlled into our lives. Yes, Lord. Let's ask them to do so. Let's don't boss them around like they're children. Yes. No, 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 my friend, that don't got the front. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Baby, will you do this? Yes. Baby, will you do that? But when they ask you, respect your husband. Respect. Yeah. Don't let him have to start yelling and screaming. Hallelujah. He asked you nicely once. <laughs> Why do we got to keep on saying the same thing over and over again? Oh, God. Do you hear me? Well, you yelled at me because I asked you ten times. <laughs> what you mean? Do you hear me? <laughs> we got to break out of witchcraft. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, My Lord. God. It's for somebody. <laughs> In here or eat on YouTube. <laughs> Women of God, stop acting like witches. Yes. Riding around on your broom through the house. My God. Knocking everything over. Jesus. Can't nobody rest because you got an attitude. Oh you so moody. Do you hear me? My God. <laughs> Can't nobody rest unless you happy. Then everybody can be happy. Yes. That ain't nothing but witch trap. Yes. Let me move from that. My God. My Hatred. Mm-hmm. Rat. Strife. Yes. Murder. Envy. Drunkenness. These are the works of the flesh. Yes. And these are the lust of the flesh. Yes. It takes him. It takes fasting and prayer to break that. Yes. What did Jesus come back with? He came back with the word. Mm-hmm. He said, but he answered and said, it is written. It is written. Man should not live by bread alone, yes. but by every word that proceeded and go forth out of the mouth of God. How do we live? We live based on the word. Based on the word. I live based on God's word. Yes. He said, man don't live by bread alone, by food alone. He said, but I live by every word that come out of the mouth of God. He said, God ain't told me to turn on bread into stone. Come on. He said, I'm fasting, do you hear me? Say, say, God, you got to live based on God's word. Yes. I live based on his logos. Uh-huh. His logos is God's thoughts, uh-huh. yes. God's intentions. I live by God's thoughts. His logos is God's self-expression. Yes. I live by God expressing himself through me. I live by the word. Yes. Uh-huh. When the devil come, I always quote the word. Yes. Don't never quote your own wisdom. Yes. He'll eat your lie. Mm-hmm. But I always quote the word. Every time he came to Jesus, Jesus quoted the word. We got to live by the word. Say to God, do you hear me? When you fast and pray, live by the word. Live by the word. Don't fast and pray, then follow one up. 
Don't fast and pray and go drink one. No. When you fast and pray, do what the word of God says. Yes, Lord. That's how you're going to break out. Yes. He said, it is written. It is written. Man, should I leave my bread on my every word? Every word. Every word. Mm -hmm. Then we see that my God. Then look what the devil did. He said, well, I fell in that temptation. Let me move to another one. Then the devil took him up in a holy city mm -hmm. and sent him on a pinnacle of the temple. Yes. And he said, if you be the son of God, throw yourself down. For it's written, he should give his angels charge concerning you. And in their hand, they should bring thee up. Lead you dash your foot against the stone. My God. When that temptation ended, the devil got Jesus and took him from the wilderness and took him all the way to Jerusalem. Mm. Set him on the pinnacle of the temple. My God. The pinnacle is the highest point. Mm -hmm. He said, you the son of God, throw yourself down. Throw yourself down. The, the, listen, the pinnacle is the apex. It's the highest point. See, the devil you also got authority to take you high oh in my certain God. places. My God. You got people right now that's an Illuminati. Mm -hmm. You got people right now that's serving the enemy to get to high places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, listen, but the devil will take you high, and then the devil will tell you, now kill yourself. Kill yourself. He'll let you get the record deal. Uh -huh. You'll sell your soul to the devil to get the record deal. Yes. But after you get the record deal, he'll say, kill yourself. Yes. My God. Do you hear me say to God? Yes. Fast and prayer. This is what we call the pride of life. Yes, sir. Where the enemy will take you so high. Now you're on a high pinnacle. Yeah, Do you yeah, hear yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. We have to watch this in the house of God. He took him to the church. Mm -hmm. yes. Took him to the top and throw yourself down. My God. How God let some ministers and pastors get so high. Mm. Then tell them, kill yourself. Yes. Because you got people in the house of God. They're not servants of God. They're servants of the devil. Yes, the yes. enemy planted them in the house of God. Yeah, 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 God. yeah, yeah. You got to watch it as pastors in the house of God. Just because God take you high, don't you get arrogant. Yes. Because the enemy will let you get so high and tell you not to destroy yourself, throw yourself down. Yes. That you get to a certain height in ministry and you feel like that you don't need God anymore. God. That's because you got to stay down to a place of fasting and prayer. Yes. I don't care how God use me, I got to stay in the place of fasting and prayer. Yes. Lord, thank you, Jesus. I care about people being healed and people being delivered. I'm still going to stay in a place of fasting and prayer. Yes. Yes. My God. The enemy took him up high mm -mm -mm. and said, throw yourself off. Mm -hmm. And it's like the devil to take you high with them drugs. Mm -hmm. You at a pinnacle, ain't you? Jesus. You at a high point. Jesus. Oh, you so high. Mm -hmm. Do you hear me? But then the enemy tell you to do something to try to destroy your life. Yes. Do you hear me? And thanks God, that's what you call the pride of life. When we walk in pride, I'm so high, I don't need God. God. I got a job, I don't need God. Pride is arrogancy. It's lifting oneself up. It's excessive shining. Uh -huh. I get so tired of these dudes walking around, talking about the ice on my wrist. <laughs> you ain't nobody still. You ride around playing somebody else's music. Uh -huh. <laughs> you ran and rolling. Yeah. Motor said I get about to fall out your car. Come on. You hear me? <laughs> and you talk about somebody am a God. You ain't no God. Sit down somewhere. Sit down. That ain't nothing but pride and arrogance. Right. Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rinning and rolling. Yes, Lord. <laughs> and rolling. Motor Can't come into the house of God on Sunday because you're cleaning your rim. Yeah. Do you hear me? But it ain't nothing but pride. Yeah. The devil had pride. That was made him fall. Yeah. I would be like the most high God. Yeah, yeah. I will send it to heaven. I will sit on the farthest sides of the north is what he said. Uh -huh. Because when you got pride, you always will hear a person say I. I the I, reason I. that we hear in the streets is all about I. Uh -huh. I bust your head. I got a woman. I got a clean car. I got a will. <laughs> it's all about see. It ain't nothing about it ain't nothing but pride and arrogance. That's it. That's pride. it. Yes, and you wouldn't stop listening to these lyrics. I don't know why I'm here, but I'm here. Jesus. Stop driving down the street. I see the one where they put up a sign, she bumping out roof. They cussing you out. <laughs> <laughs> the ones you listening to calling you bees and H's? Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, but you yeah. ride around listening to a nod in your head. Yeah, 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 Pulling yeah. Pulling up yeah. looking like a dude. Come on. With a mean mug on your face. Come you on. Come you on. supposed to be a lady. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. My God. Yes, sir. That's so true. Yeah. The truth in it, how? Drop it like it's hot. Back it up. You doing everything they telling you to do. Jesus. But when God says something, you got a problem with you it. You got a problem with it. I know it's tight, but it's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We got to get this right, saints of God. Yes, Lord. You women are too valuable before God. Yes, Lord. For you to allow the enemy to speak through some man and tell you how to control your body and move your body. My God. Put money on your body. Now you was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. You wasn't bought with silver or gold, didn't yes. you? Yes. 
Man, you can't put no price on me. Can't put no yes, price Lord. on me. Yes, Lord. Thank you, yes, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. The pride of life. The pride of life. Mm. We want to go so high. So yes, high. Lord. We say the one that died with the most tours wins. Mm. No, you don't. No, you don't. Just because you got more boats and cars and houses. What do a profit a man if he gain the whole world but lose his soul in hell? Ah. You gonna leave that back on earth for you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ain't, listen, ain't no funeral current on you hold behind them. Come on. You better do what God called you to do. Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, don't yeah. you get caught up in trying to get so high in certain places. Come on. If God don't ever want pastors to be rich, guess what? I don't want to be rich. Yeah. Yeah. God, if I can't handle it, I don't want it. Yes, Lord. If I can't handle a million, don't give me a million. Yeah. Stop asking God for a million. You won't give God nothing out of three hundred dollars that He give you. Come on, yes, Lord. Yes. The truth in the house. Yes. Yes. Devil try to take people on a pinnacle. Uh huh. Raise them up high. Raise them up yes. high. In the entertainment system. Uh huh. Yes. Give me your soul, and I'm gonna take you high. Uh huh. I'm gonna make you the greatest running back or quarterback there is. Come on. I want to take you high. High. In entertainment, sell your soul to me, mm -hmm. because I'm gonna give you so many jokes. You are gonna make people laugh. I'm going to take you so high. Uh -huh. But I ain't going to tell you that you got to be popping pills all night. To come sleep. on, come on. That you got to be shooting up every night just for you to go to sleep. Come on. He's not going to tell you I'm going to torment you. Do you hear me? Jesus. I'm going to take you so high and tell you, now throw yourself down. Throw yourself down. Yes, Lord. You got a lot of people in the music industry that have left here and died. I'm going to call no name. Mm -hmm. yes, Lord. But some of them was in league with the enemy. Mm -hmm. And the enemy <laughs> took them high and made them commit suicide. Yes. yes. Do you hear me? Yes. You cannot break that drug addiction yes. until you get to a place of fasting and prayer. Yes, Lord. You can't break that pride that you got. Mm. My family, we don't ask nobody for nothing. That's pride. Pride. Do you pride. hear the saints of God? Pride. Stop trying to say you're strong when you know that it ain't nothing but pride. Come on. Open your mouth and ask somebody for some help. Do you yes. hear me? God resists the proud but give grace resist to the humble. humble. And we have to be humble in the house of God. Yes. The yes. pride of life. Mm -hmm. Test God. Throw yourself down and, walk and see what God will do. Uh -huh. We tempt God. We go places that we don't supposed to go. Mm -hmm. And we say, God, get me out of it because we testing God. Jesus. Cast yourself down. Mm -hmm. And then the devil quoted the word. Quoted the word. He said, for it, it is written that God will give his angels charge over you. Yes. That they'll swoop and you bury you up. Yes, Lord. Before you hit your foot against a stone. Yes. Because the devil will quote the word also. <laughs> but he will always quote it out of context. Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can't quote one scripture and violate another scripture yeah. at the same time. Yes. You can hear some people that when they start quoting scriptures, it ain't nothing but demonic talk. My God. Just because you can't remember scripture don't mean that you know God. Come on. Say that. Hallelujah. Say that. I know all about that. I know about church. I know about the Bible. Uh -huh. No, you don't shut up. You out here getting drunk, high, <laughs> sleeping around and so forth. You don't know God. If you knew God, you'll do what the word of God say. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, God. The devil quoted the word. My God. Yes. But Jesus is written again. It is written. Don't tempt the Lord your God. Don't tempt the Lord thy God. Stop tempting God. Putting yourself in situations that's dangerous. That's dangerous. But then you want God to come and bail you out. You better stop doing it. Yeah. Because God might not answer your call one time. Yes, Lord. Listen, provide no provision for your flesh to fulfill his lust. He took Jesus up to a high mountain, and I'm coming to a close. But I got to deal with this. Yes. Show Jesus all the kingdoms of the world. Yes, Lord. When Jesus looked down through there, he seen naked women. He seen chariots. He seen cars. He seen everything when Jesus, the enemy showed him. Yes. That's the lust of the eyes. Uh -huh. yeah. Be careful what go in your eyes. Yes. Your eye game. Your eye game. When certain magazines come to our house, my wife will tell you I throw them away. Uh -huh. She don't have to be there for me to do it. Yes. Do you hear me? She looked in the garbage magazines there. You know why? Because it was a woman that was posed in the wrong way. Yes, Lord. When I look on Facebook, somebody sent us a friend request. If a woman's sitting there any kind of sexual way, I delete it. Yes. You won't be our friend. Do you hear me? <laughs> because you got to get serious, men of God. Yes, Lord. Women of God, you got to get serious. Yes. You got to pray and fast to break that power of sexual addiction. Yes, Lord. Stop going on the internet. Jesus. When you know there's stuff on them that's bothering your spirit, I'm talking to you women also. Yes, Lord. Be careful, doors. Mm -hmm. Watch what you look at on, te on, on television. Mm -hmm. Do you hear me? Watch what you look at on the internet. Yes. Because that's what you did with the lust of the eye. Yes. How do you break pornography? You fast and pray. Fast and pray. Some of us start picking up magazines at a young age. Mm -hmm. I was picking up at a young age. Yes. 
and that went in my eye gates, Jesus. went down in my heart. Yes, Lord. Certain things I started doing back then, it was a stronghold when I got older. My God. Do you hear me, saints of God? But saints of God, you got to clear everything out your house. Yes, you got to put some coals on the television. Yes. Do you hear me? Jesus. You need your wife or your husband to monitor you. Do you hear me, saints of God? Jesus. You got to be for real. I tell my wife if I'm having a problem with any area, and she tell me the same thing. We tell each other. Yes. Now let's sit down and pray. Do you hear me? Let's pray and fast. Yes. We tell you how to get loose. Do you hear me? Yes, Lord. But the devil wants you to think that somebody trying to condemn you, and the only thing pastor trying to do is trying to minister to you yes. so you can come out of that situation. Yes, yes, that pornography yes. had you bound for too many years. Yes, you done went through three marriages, My ten children, Jesus. stretch marks, yes, bruises all in your face, Jesus. all because of you wanted just a little bump and grind. But a little bump and grind took you down through the mud. Yes. And you got to learn how to break that power of pornography. Yes, yes Lord. Hallelujah, yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Put a cold on the internet. Mm. Yes. Have somebody to know what you're looking at. Yes. Do you hear me? Jesus. Watch what you watch on television. My God. Turn it. Mm -hmm. It's something come on. That's too revealing. My God. You got to turn it. Yes, yes. Lord. I'm not telling you something I'm not doing. My God. Do you hear me say, say, God, my wife sitting right there. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Sometimes you be looking at television and a picture come up and it's some woman undressed and sometimes I'll be trying to turn it and it won't even turn. <laughs> yes. Devil, get out of this remote control. <laughs> Do you hear me? Yes. <laughs> my wife walk in the room and it's some woman on there. I'm trying to turn it. Yes. The devil get in remote control. Yes, Lord. You can't even turn it yes. because he wanted to go into your eye gates. Yes. But we got to get free. Uh -huh. yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. To so pastors in ministry. Yes. yes. Stop counseling these women in the office by yourself. Yes. yes. That's why so many men of God is following. Yes. Those of you going to counsel, you're going to counsel with me and my wife. Yes. Lord. And I'm letting you know right now. Yes, Lord. No office door going to be closed and we sitting there shooting the breeze talking about the weather. Uh -uh. Listen, man, don't let no woman come up to you and tell you, I'm just having a problem in my flesh, and I just feel so sexual. Now I'm going to tell my wife that. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know what to tell you. I'm not no woman. Do you hear me? <laughs> now, if a brother come up, I can minister to the brother. Yeah. But you got to go to the sisters. Yes, That's what the Bible said to all the women. Teach the younger women. Yes. Come on, say to God. Yes. Let's stay with the word of God. Uh -huh. yes, Lord. yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because the enemy will try to bring you down through the lust of the eyes. Through the lust of the eyes. My God. Putting stuff in your eye gate. Yes. That will destroy your soul. My God, my God. You got to put right, right boundaries around you. Yes. Put right people around you. Yes. Put right brothers around you. My God. I don't hang out with preachers that cheat on their wife. No, no, no. We can't hang out. Do you hear me? Can't hang because out. I want to be around men of God that love their wife. They love their wife. I want to be around men of God that have been with their wife for so many years. Yes. They have been through trials and tribulations, but they still standing. Yes. I don't want to be around some preacher that's cheating on his wife and sleeping with different women in the church. Come we can't on. hang out. We can't hang out. Because my soul is too important to yes. me. Do you hear me? My you got to make yourself accountable even to the people of God. Yes. I'm accountable to you. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. You see, Pastor, somewhere said, Pastor, what you doing over here? Yes. Uh, I need to be accountable. Yes. Pastor, you, you don't supposed to be over here. Yes. We got to be accountable to each other as men and women of God. Because when we're not, we're walking in arrogancy. Yes. But humility says, mm -hmm. brother, you need to get from over here. You need to get from over here. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, 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 Lord. Fasting and prayer, thanks to God. Yes. It's going to break these strongholds. It's going to break yes. it. Break this power of temptation. Yes. yes. Don't leave out of here and say you don't got the answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because every time you come in this house, you gonna get the answer, yes, but you got to walk it out. Got to yes, walk Lord. it out. Do you hear me? This is not three points of who's been a holler today. My yes, God, because we got to get free. Got to get yes, free. I don't want to be bound anymore. Yes, yes Lord. I want to be free. Yes, Lord. I want to get busy for God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Turn it up, some Cameron. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You want to get free. I want to get busy for you, God. But I can't right now because I'm in a stronghold. God said, fast and pray. You can come down for prayer. If you need prayer, come on down. If you need prayer, come on down. If you need 